Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to extract year, month and quarter from a date time variable. We will be using the Power Query Editor in Power BI to extract year, month and quarter from a date time variable. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to extract important components from a date time variable, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by talking about the data set that I have. I've got one single column in this particular data set, which is called as the order date. As you can see here, this is a date time variable. The first transaction here was made in 8th November 2016. The same thing holds good for the second transaction as well. It was made on 8th November 2016. The third transaction was made on 12th June 2016. If I scroll to the last record, you can see here 9,996 records are there approximately. So the sample size in this data set is approximately 9,996. I would like to extract important elements like year, month and quarter from this particular variable. How do we do this? Let me first of all close this particular data set. What you're seeing in front of you is Power BI. I need to import the original data set which was present in Excel into Power BI. How do we do this? You can see here there's an option which is called as get data. This icon helps me import the data set into Power BI. I'm going to click on the drop down menu. The very first option here is Excel workbook. By clicking on this particular option, you can import a data set from Excel workbook into Power BI. The moment I click on this particular option, you can see here there's a new window which pops up. I'm going to choose the data set which is called a sample superstore which has one column namely order date. Let me hit the open button. You can see here this is the navigator window. In the navigator window, the name of the data set is displayed. Below the name of the data set, you can see here there are different sheets. You have the order sheets, then you have the people sheets, and then finally you have the returns sheet. I'm going to select the first option here, namely orders. The moment I choose this, what does Power BI do? It recognizes the variables that are present. In this case, there's only one column, namely order date, and therefore it displays only one column. If you are happy with only one column, if you want only this one specific column to be imported, you can hit the load button. On the other hand, if you wish to make any transformation to the existing data set, what you can do is you can click on the option which is called as transform data. I want to transform this particular column and I want to extract five new variables from this original column and then import the data set. So let me first hit the transform data option. This will lead me to a new window. As you can see here, this is what is called as the Power Query Editor. I repeat, this is what is called as the Power Query Editor. It has a lot of features which helps in the transformation of the data. You can use the Power Query Editor which is a very, very powerful feature which helps you in transformation of the data. You can do what is called as data munging and data wrangling here in this particular editor. I'm not going to show all the features. There are a lot of features that are present in this editor. I'm going to keep it very, very simple. What I want to do here is using the original variable, namely order date, I want to extract a new variable, namely year. You're going to see 
how easy and how simple it is to extract a new variable from the existing column. To add a new column, you can click on the add column option. Here, within this add column, you have a lot of features. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw your attention to what is called as from date and time. Now, this particular option will help you work with date time variables. You can see here, this is the icon representing date. I can click on the drop down menu. You have a lot of options, but let me click on the fourth option from the top. This is the year option. Once you click on the year option, there are three items that are being displayed. You can go ahead and choose the very first item, namely year. Let's see what happens when we click on the option year. You can see here, Power Query Editor has extracted the year portion from the order date and it has created a new column, namely year. If you can see here, the first transaction was made in the year 2016 and therefore Power BI has extracted only the year portion from the first column. Similarly, if you look at the fourth record, the transaction was made in the year 2015 and therefore Power BI has extracted 2015. Okay, let's proceed. Sorry for the inconvenience. I have extracted the first column, namely year. Now, the second option which I want to show is how to extract the month portion from the original variable order date. Firstly, you need to select the order date. Go to this particular option, date. Here, you can see 30 functions which can be used purely through the click of the button. You don't need to write any code. You don't need to write any syntax. Just by clicking the button, you can access 30 plus features. I'm just showing you five simple options. We have seen how to work with year. Now I will be showing you how to extract the month portion. You can see here there are five different options as far as month is concerned. I'm going to choose the last of the options here, namely name of the month from the order date. You can see here the moment I choose name of the month, a new column which is called as month name is being extracted, which extracts the month name from the original data set. Now you may ask me, what is the use of extracting year and month? At a later stage, what you can do is, if you want to show the month wise sales or the month wise profit, or for that matter, if you want to show year wise sales, these two new fields will help us. So that's why we have extracted year and month. Let me go ahead and show you how to extract the quarter wise information from the original date variable, namely order date. Very simple. I'm going to go ahead and choose the date option here. You can see what is called as the quarter option here. Here you have three different options. I want, I will choose the first of the options, namely quarter of year. You can see here what Power BI does is it generates a new column which is called as quarter which highlights which quarter was the first transaction made in. For example, the first transaction was made in the fourth quarter, second transaction was again made in the fourth quarter, the third transaction was made in the second quarter, so on and so forth. So again, as I told you earlier, if you want to show quarter wise profit or quarter wise sales, this column is very, very useful. So we have created three additional columns, year, month and quarter. Just in case you want to extract the week variable, you can select the original date variable, click on the date icon. You can see here there's an option called as week. Here you have four different options. You can choose week of the year. You can choose week of the month. I'm going to choose this particular option week of the month here. 
you can see here power query editor has generated a new column which tells me that the first transaction happened in the second week of the month if i scroll down here the third transaction happened in the third week of the month so like this i've created four new variables which are very very useful especially when you do advanced analysis the last option that i'm going to show you for the day is the day option as you can see here the date option is not highlighted because i have not selected the date variable now this particular variable week of the month is not a date variable you have to go back and select the original variable namely order date then the date option will be highlighted now let me click on the drop down menu and choose the item day you have multiple options here i'm going to go ahead and select the last of the options namely name of day i'm going to scroll to the extreme right you can see here day name and it highlights in which day the transaction took place so it was on a tuesday the transaction took place so as you can see here with one variable which is the original variable that is the date variable we successfully created five new columns using power query editor this is just the tip of the iceberg there are many useful functions which you can write which you can develop using power query editor with this i have come to the end of today's video i request you to subscribe to my channel also like and share my videos thank you very much for watching this video have a great day ahead